It's time for the basement tips right now on one of three one the What's up? I'm Dr. Nick Redbone. Welcome to The Basement Tapes, brought to you by 1031 The Edge. You might recognize these guys, the amazing Messer. Once again, you guys are, by the way, the very first to do the new set. I like Did it. Did you notice all the vinyl behind I you? I like yeah. it. We should put ours up there. We, I know. Actually, you know, I have a copy of your vinyl, but I didn't use it as a giveaway. It's still in my studio, and I'm keeping it. <laughs> well, we'll so it, you, the wall doesn't get it. We'll give you a wall We'll give you a wall We'll give you a wall. We'll give you a seven inch. How about You're, that? What? Hey. Hey, hey, all hey, seven inches. Hey. Way too early in so the morning for that. So if you're looking to get seven inches from Messer, you're going to have to Bam. get through me first. Yeah. I'm your huckleberry. And <laughs> off we go. We'll totally take a symbol. I heard that. We'll take no. a symbol. That'll never make the wall. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll also go in the studio. So you guys have been on the road pretty much steadily since the last time I saw you. And, uh, of course, now we've gone from summer into winter. What's the difference between summer touring and winter touring? Temperature. Uh, the yeah, weather. the temperature, the temperature <laughs> is way cooler. Yeah, it's, it's state the obvious. Colder. For uh, us on the bus, the it's driving. definitely uh, it's better in the winter time. Yeah, is it really just because yeah. of the e easier to live in uh, that, and it's easier on the bus. engine. The, way the bus runs better through the mountains. I mean, we've pretty much I think climbed every mountain uh, that the United States has this year. <laughs> a couple times. A couple of times. Uh, we've been on the road pretty much for like I don't know what six years with Royal Bliss and oh, Joyous yeah. Wolf. It seems least, like I was yeah. When we started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the winter time is, or this time, I don't want to say winter time, the fall time is excellent for touring, you know, when you got eight guys crammed in a hot bus. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, who's the mechanic? Well, that's, that's all me. Donnie's, Donnie's actually, Donnie's actually stuff. Donnie and I pretty much do most all the maintenance stuff. He, we're the two most mechanically, I guess, uh, Adept, adept yeah. yeah. We talked about this a little bit when you guys were here last yeah, time. I was that, underneath it last that time. That you were, yeah, yeah. When you, I think when we, because you and I had met in Vegas prior, yep. before, before I'd met the entire band, I think we had a safety meeting. We did point. have a safety <laughs> meeting, and sure. uh, And then when, when I met the whole band, they all walked in, and all I saw was a pair of legs underneath the bus, and oh, that, you that's guys Matt. ran over hey, Maddox. Maddox. Sorry, I think he waved with yeah, like one foot at me. Wizard of Oz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we sprung some like random oil leak, and we had to get that thing nursed all the way back home, but we got it fixed up, and it didn't end up costing too much and wasn't anything major, just a... Uh, Gasket. Just this gasket, but yep. it was one of those gaskets that just dumps everything. So. And I think, and I th we we had talked about that a little bit. I don't think people understand that a touring indie band. I mean, it's DIY. Yeah, everything, everything, everything is. Everything. Yeah, everything. I mean, um, that's the one thing that I feel like you know, like I said, we have definitely have a, a little bit of advantage over um, maybe some of the younger bands is that we have a little bit of wisdom uh, on our side, experience, and yeah. experience that. Uh, always being prepared on the road and so i mean i, I we try to uh, overthink everything in that aspect because we're carrying our lives around in that thing you know so yeah so absolutely for the worst from you being know? stranded somewhere yeah yeah Which, definitely definitely a home away from home <laughs> so you guys have been out on the road for a while uh, i i know i can speak for us we're spending the hell out of uh, out of save me and uh, save yourself excuse me save myself. And, and i know that you guys are uh, we're getting ready to even start working an, another single here yeah. fairly soon. Do you think, um, are you ready to go back into the studio? Are you sick of the songs you've been playing so far? Uh, I don't mm, say yeah. think we're sick of these songs. We are definitely ready to go back and, you know, just start working on the next album. Just because we know it's going to, you know, we're going to put a lot of work into it. And that means time. Yeah. And, you know, in a perfect world, I would like to say we're going to have... Uh, something new out, you know, 2020. I just wanted to do because it's a cool year, 2020. Yeah. You know, so I wanted to have something out uh, uh, for that for us. But um, you know, we we've been you know throwing around some ideas, uh, uh, Derek and I and our producer and and uh, everybody, and um, just look forward to it, you know, soon. But we still have quite a number of really good songs on this album yeah. that uh, we feel that uh, deserve to be heard. So um, we're just gonna keep riding this I, album. Out. I was actually talking to uh, Brock. Brock Johnson, appropriate Brock director. Johnson. Brock Johnson. And, uh, and he told me <laughs> that he's had your album in rotation in his car constantly. I yeah. mean, pretty much Everybody since does. he got it. And, and Derek and I, we, we were talking just before we actually came down and started shooting about, about writing hooks. And, I, and I, I, we throw that around. It's kind of an insider music term. The hook is the cool part, the, the part people want to The part you sing. remember. The earworm. Yeah. The part you can't stop singing and humming. It, Exactly. What is the secret to writing a good hook? Because it's almost a lost art these days. But you guys have nailed it. Nursery rhymes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Dr. Uh, the first Seuss. Hook you I, I think it starts with a melody. You yeah, know? you know, get your melody and then find a good cliche, maybe, and you know, right. yeah. something that people are going to remember. You know, I mean, it's there's a lot of them out there. You know, but um, yeah, a lot of these bands these days, they they you know, kind of gotten away from that, and uh, they think they can just scream whatever, and people are going to go, oh yeah, I remember that. You, you don't like Most mumble times rap. You don't. you don't like mumble rap. Yeah, <laughs> mumble rap. <laughs> <laughs> that all works in the same triple. That's it. You just saw them convert. We're, I'm going out on the road with them, and it's going to be a mumble rap act. I think we're going to crush it. I think we could be huge. Dr. Nick and the Nickettes. That's it. Perfect. So um, without further ado, look, I, I want to let you guys do your thing. Really looking forward to uh, you guys with Royal Bliss tonight. And the fact that you guys, that all three bands have such a great grasp of songcraft. When you go to see this show, there's going to be... It's about the songs. Yeah, for sure. yeah, three different bands, three different styles, uh, really. You know, everyone's based in rock and roll for sure, but um, you're going to get three unique sounding bands, but um, it all works well together. I mean, every band complements the other, so it's a, it's a fun time. It's a fun, it's a fun tour. I would mm -hmm. say this is like one of the funnest tours we've been done for sure. That's mm -hmm. awesome. How many more dates are on this tour? This, this is, is the last one. one. Come show. on oh, out tonight. Yeah. Jerome, yeah. Never gonna and see then this home. Again. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> It'll never happen again, and you yeah. get to see it tonight for the last time. That's it. Check it out, my friends. This is Messer. All right. Yeah. 
Till it turns into disease And I can't stand the way It makes me fear now Cause I am just a simple man A bad back I'm not taking any more selfish there's nothing more to make of it how much more do you think I could take apathy is something that I never get I can't seem to get free from this cage Back. I'm not taking any more Cause I am just a simple man I'm better on my own And this is where I'll make a stand I'm not taking any Oh, man. 